Welcome to Electron Line. Now let's talk about the quantity of molecules in a sample. For example, we have a container that contains a certain number of moles of gas. Do we care about how many molecules there are? And at the macroscopic level, typically no. So when does this become important? Well, let's take a look at this. First, let's define STP, standard temperature and pressure. How much gas do we have in a container when we are at standard temperature and pressure? Well, standard temperature is zero degrees centigrade, which is 273.15 Kelvin. Typically, we just drop the 0.15 and just call it 273 Kelvin. One atmosphere in Pascals or in Newtons per square meter is 101,325, approximately 14.7 pounds per square inch. Now, when we are at atmospheric pressure, we know that one mole of gas occupies a volume of 22.4 liters. That's typically used in chemistry. But when we deal with physics, we sometimes talk about kilomoles, a thousand moles, and then it occupies a volume of 22.4 cubic meters, because meters, of course, is a standard unit. And so sometimes we talk about kilomoles and the volume in cubic meters rather than moles and the volume in liters. Remember, there's a thousand liters in one cubic meter. So if we have a kilomole, then we have a thousand times Avogadro's number. The N sub A is called Avogadro's number. And that therefore, if we have a thousand of those, we have 6.022 times 10 to the 26th molecules, a thousand more than Avogadro's number. And if we divide that number with 22.4 cubic meters, we have this many molecules for every cubic meter of gas. That's a lot of molecules. Now what happens when we only take a very small volume, like a cubic millimeter? Then the number of molecules is still very substantial, 10 to the 16th, well, 10 to the 12th is trillion, so we have more than a thousand trillion molecules in just a small cubic millimeter of space. But what if we drop it down even further, and now we talk about a nanometer cubed. How many molecules will exist in a nanometer cubed? And all of a sudden you realize it's less than one. 0.0269, well of course you can't have 0.0269 molecules, you can only have one or two, which means that in a typical cubic nanometer of space, under STP conditions, you probably will not find a molecule. And now the whole system begins to break down. All the laws and equations we're going to be talking about at the macroscopic level for thermodynamics no longer hold true when you have a very, very tiny volume like that. Another way of saying that is that the probability of finding one molecule in a cubic nanometer of gas is only 2.69%. So most likely, if you take one cubic nanometer, you probably won't find a molecule there. And very seldom, about 2.69% of the time, there might be one in there. So the laws no longer hold true, the equations no longer hold true at very small volumes. So whenever you talk about relatively larger volumes of a cubic meter and above, there's so many molecules that you no longer have to worry about it. Something to keep in mind, especially when we get to the statistical part of the thermodynamics, that's how we know.